Oh, I love Ga I love Galahad, but we could do Sharon. Galahad, whenever you find a treasure, give your characters plus two, plus one permanently. So you're just a treasure hunter. That's all you are. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, I've got the chatbot, and then I've also got the Twitch chat version. Hang on. Man, the early happy tree is really nice. I could transform it, but I actually might be better off not transforming it. The happy tree gets two health permanently each round, which means it's a really good character to be holding extra da uh, extra damage. It's the Twitch native chat and then the Streamlabs chatbot. And the reason that I have to do that is because the Twitch native chat would show things like channel point redemption, as well as some kinds of subscribes. Uh, and then the Streamlabs chatbot doesn't show those for some reason, so I have to have both open. Annoyingly. Um, this is honestly probably fine. I'm gonna take Mad Mim, just give extra damage to the happy little tree, and then also give it a plus one, plus one. If I win, it will be permanent. Confusing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's annoying, unfortunately. Like, each of the chat clients shows something that the other one doesn't, so I have to have both open. What's our guy's special ability? Whenever I find a treasure, I will give all of our characters plus two, plus one permanently. So I also do want to try and get as many characters as I can because that opens up my ability to triple more characters, but it also opens up the amount of characters that will get affected by the plus two, plus one. If I attacked the other one first, I actually would have won this brawl. That's really annoying. That's a giant swing on a 50-50. Take that and then cast this. Okay, it gave me a free roll. Damn it. I can't lock when I'm about to turn level three to get two twos. Is the bonus global or a direct buff? It's a direct buff to the characters you currently have. I'm gonna swap you for baby root though. Again, I care more about their health because I can get more damage from the ability. <sighs> treasures are good, but the problem is if I get treasures that are a lot harder to get because they're on low level characters that I'm finding harder to take, it's like you can find a bunch of treasures and still lose as this character or lose while you're looking for them. Yeah, okay. It's fine. Not too much damage taken there. Okay. We'll take Blind Mouse and Doubly. Doubly doubles attack bonuses and health bonuses, but that Candy Rain will now give them a plus two, plus two as a result of that. And then if I put them in front of that, they get six health instead of the uh, three. That seems a reasonable board setup at the moment. No doubles yet. That hurts. Galahad loves Cinders. Galahad loves anyone that has a quest tag on them, but I can't find anyone with a quest tag on them. <laughs> what? <laughs> I feel like his ability is relatively slow scaling. I get that it's a bonus to your entire board, but you found a single treasure last game. Yeah, I did find only a single treasure last game. The problem is like you can high roll or low roll with Sir Galahad. Galahad is definitely a win more kind of character. Nice. That was basically as best I could have done right there. No, we have to roll. Yeah, get a cat's call there, I guess. Good support's not enough. I still need to roll. Okay, we got another doubly at least. Yikes. Yikes. 
That one eagle asks, hey Raps, are full Triumph builds anything in this game? They seem to only be support or finishers, Echo Wood. They can be, they certainly can be. So there's a level six Triumph that is evil that gives its health in attack to all other Triumphs this brawl. Uh, and its upgraded version gives its health in uh, two times rather to all other Triumphs. And then by that point it's 40. So it gives all other Triumphs 80 attack by base once it's upgraded. Uh, and if you've taken Triumphs for a lot of the game prior to that point, especially things like Happy Little Tree, as well as the Triant buffing unit. Uh, the support give Triants in front of you plus one, plus two permanently for this round. Uh, if you've taken those, then you can have really high health Triants to hold that damage and actually really overwhelm the enemy. So it can happen, don't we? Uh, that Shadow Assassin is gonna mean that I don't win this brawl anyway. Yeah, everyone would have had to, like, start targeting the Shadow Assassin immediately. Attack left. Thank you. Okay. Only four damage again. Round table's really good for them, too. Thank you! Uh, look. Look. We should just... Should I buff another character or roll? I'll buff another character. Uh, no, I'll roll. I'll roll. I'll roll after it. All right, Doubly, what do we get? Okay. That's plus uh, plus six plus six on Triply because she uh, he triples all the bonuses now, which makes it a little easier to take that. It also sets us up for a possible. Should take the spell. And then roll. I do like Fanny here as well, but I don't think I sell two things for it. I don't think I buy any of these. In fact. This, uh, this sets us up in a position to go into Dwarves. I would love to go into Dwarves, especially with the Dwarven Forge. What does that old Dwarf do? Fanny? Fanny is a Dwarf support, so it gives Dwarves in front of it plus two, plus two. And Triply would take plus six, plus six from that because they triple bonuses to their attack and health. Uh, Crafty, yeah, Crafty is plus three, plus three for each relic you have. Plus six, plus six after you upgrade Crafty. Not keen on any of those. Attack permanently. I could try and take Poliwoggle and then give it attack permanently and then go. I could also just give plus three attack permanently to the happy little tree friend and be happy about it. I think I will. We take another doubly, don't we? Okay, we lock. Bossy is worth it right now. It's very, very early to be able to pick up Bossy. The end is actually also like a really good spell to be able to cast right now. Although I'll probably take... Actually, hang on. I'm going to sell Blind Mouse. I'll use the end on Baby Root and then I'm going to buy Bossy and Lady of the Lake. And then Bossy sits in the back line. Lady of the Lake sits behind both Triply and Doubly. They're going to have a bunch of HP. They're going to have a bunch of damage. We've got a Dwarf build going. Ooh, baby, we got a Dwarf build going. Maybe I shouldn't have buffed the Happy Tree Friend. We're going outside of Triants. Triants are no longer the build at all. Bet far. Bet far. Give nine to Triply. Triply is going to have no difficulty getting more attack damage than any of the enemies can take right now. And will scale faster than they do. So I'm not worried about uh, Triply's attacks. Oh, yikes. These enemies with the ranged attacks. Yep. They're going to claim that win. Hmm. Do we care about Tweedledee? Tweedledee is actually kind of good right now. God damn it. I don't want to care about Tweedledee though.
Like, that's a pretty good board state. I can't lock for Tweedledee. Do I sell three units? How much do I believe in dwarves? I don't know if I believe in dwarves enough to do that. What that spell do? Devour the character to give us one experience. I'm trying to get towards five experience next round because then there are all, there's specifically there's angry. There's a dwarf I want at level five. I also really want to trigger Cinderella just to give everyone the plus two plus ones. Honestly, like next turn, cast spells for Cinderella. I'll take pairs of anything I have on board. Anything? I'll take pairs of some of the things I have on board. Otherwise, I'm just hard rolling looking for angry. I have the time to do this right now because we're just like outside the power curve with the triply in the front line here. What's Tweedledee? Tweedledee is a dwarf that summons another dwarf. There's Angry. There's Angry and there's an, a, a, a spell as well. A spell that lets me cast another spell after it too. I'm actually going to pass those. You butt, you absolute butt, you, you butt. I can't even say anything except for that because this is what you are. That'll do. Stats are already reflected in the shop. So the stats are reflected in the shop for permanent buffs we have, like the deep stone buff, uh, deep stone mine. Uh, your dwarves have plus two, plus two, as well as the other ones that we have currently active on board. If I take bossy off board, you'll see that the stats decrease. Angry, when they survive damage, will give all dwarves plus two, plus two this brawl. So I put it out front to try and get it to do so. It is indeed a temporary buff, though. Oh, excuse me. No, that wasn't my phone. Weirdly activating in the corner there. What game is the phrase troll engine from? I first heard it in Northern Lions playthrough of Mining Isaac. And yes, the buff from Angry would be plus six, plus six for Triply, plus two, plus two for, sorry, plus four, plus four for Doubly as well. Whoa, okay, they've almost got enough damage on their minions to be able to kill one of mine. Almost. We got it. So we basically just have enough time until everyone gets their endgame builds on board to just try and find something. If I cast the end on Cinderella, does she cast it? I bet she doesn't. Um, I'm looking for treasures. I'm going to take you, I'm going to take you, and then I'm going to eat you. At the start of each roll, deal one damage to all enemy and friendly characters. That's going to hit the angry and give everyone a buff. And then when I get more angries, it's going to do it as well. It's grand. We'll place you out there. That's great board state right there. No, she dies before spell resolution, I assume. I would assume so as well, but it's, it's one of those things that I could totally see having like a funky race condition in there, you know? This spell was, again, just devour a character to gain experience. I'm trying to make sure that I'm level 6 next round so that I can start looking for uh, Lordies. Lordy is the level 6 dwarf. It gives all dwarves plus 2, plus 2 for each dwarf that's on the board. So at that point, the triplies would be gigantic. Gigantic. Wow, that's a that's a good pants build right there. Yo, you're actually you got us. 
Good pants, bud. Good pants. Hello, bossy. Can I please have the, the Dwarven Forge? Do it to it! No. No one else is playing dwarves right now, so the Gloves of Thieving aren't going to get us dwarves. Gilded Harp? The Gilded Harp would mean any triply I find would already be upgraded, but I'm looking for non-triplies right now. Job. Cast a spell. My cup runneth over. It's too late for the princess. Actually, we don't even put you on board yet. Because you're going to die when the uh, when the ring of meteor goes off. As soon as we can put the echo wood on the board, we're going to love this. Unfortunately, it will die to my own ring of meteors right now, so I can't put it on the board yet. All the buffs. Oh my god, I also randomly cast the spell Falling Stars, so I did it again. Yep. This is the this is the most powerful enemy in the lobby as well, by the way. Wait, does it? Or would it gain stats before dying from the Angry Resolution? No, because the Angry Resolution is triggered by the effect that also kills Echo Wood. I could actually keep it alive here by putting the Echo Wood out on board and then taking Toil and Trouble. At the start of the brawl, give two of your characters plus two plus two permanently. It depends. Which happens first, Toil and Trouble or Ring of Meteors? Because if Toil and Trouble happens first, then Echo Wood survives. Otherwise, the if the Ring of Meteors happens first... Echo would dies. <gasps> never mind! Echo would never dies. Hell yeah, baby. Do I want to become a new character? Gosh, y'all, that could be pretty good. Okay, so, Lordy, at the start of your brawl, give your dwarves plus two plus two this brawl for each dwarf that you have. So I have six dwarves on board. Each of them is going to get plus 12, plus 12. And uh, except for Triply, who's going to get plus 36, plus 36, and Doubly gets plus 24, plus 24. Uh, and Echo Wood gains attack or health whenever any other character gains it during a brawl. So it will uh, gain the stats that Lordy is giving out here. I'm going to reroll. That's a decent dwarf. Reroll the game. Bit, bit too late. Bit too late there. It's so big! Wonderbot raided with 174 friends says, do a win? You know what? I think we can do that for you, bud. I think we may have that unlock for you. Thank you very much for the raid, Wanda. I've been fishing for a win here. And we've found it. After this win, we will uh, transition into Spellcaster University. Boy. All right, I'll take a level five. Ah, at the start of the battle, upgrade your last character for this brawl only. Thank you. Uh, I actually really like having the Ring of Meteors here. So now the Echo Wood's going to upgrade. So whenever anyone gains stats, it will gain double them. Or I could just put Lorny here. Everyone gets, all the dwarves get plus four, plus four for each dwarf that I have, which also just gives more stats to Echo Wood. So I'm going to get Lordy to do that. I could go make food, have a lovely afternoon wraps. Enjoy your food. Thank you very much for the raid. Hello, Wonderbot viewers. The Wandering Bots. Welcome on in. Uh, uh, do I want a uh, store filled with spells right now? Yeah, I'd like to change character if I can find it for free. No? Okay, I'm finding a dead enemy, so I don't think I have to worry about... <laughs> I'll take Falling Stars and then reroll, I guess. No. No. Lock. Uh, and I'll take the chicken to save some money.
Okay, so Echo Wood uh, is now a 315-312. Yep. It's good. Okay. Angry goes down on the board. We'll take the lucky coin. One gold. You can also get another spell cast this round. So it's just a free coin. Level 2 and 3 characters no longer appear in the shop. That would prevent me from getting any more triplies, unfortunately. But it still might be the best thing we have access to right now. God, maybe I take the money here instead. No, I'm gonna get rid of lower level characters. Also the Deep Stone Mine. We're just looking for high level characters and pairs and triples. Nope. No. Not needed there either. Draculas would be hilarious with Echo Wood. Unnecessary but hilarious. Draculas? Is in the the one that gives frontline units slay gain plus one and uh, attack permanently. Echo Wood wouldn't gain it permanently. Unless I'm thinking of a treasure. I still think Doubly is the best wolf. Not being able to get any more of those sucks. Yeah, it is rough. Shouldn't you get another dwarf? Well, if I was threatened, maybe. But instead, I want to try and get Hercules on board. Oh, don't. Okay, that was... Looked like it was about to kill Hercules there. Oh, enemies trying to threaten this. Mm, look at you. We're fighting another dead enemy here. It's Peter Pants. I'll make Hercules powerful if I can, but... Ooh. Okay. Come on, give me an Echo Wood. Come on. I'll hard roll for it. I'll hard roll for it until you give it to me. Who do you think's gonna win in this? You or me, Gan? Okay, game. Game one. Game will absolutely end before Hercules flips. Probably. Probably. But while I have the ability to just throw it in, it's good enough. Can I throw it at the front now? Yeah. Let's do it that way. Yeah, Herc doesn't have enough time. I was hoping it was going to be able to get an easy kill. Uh, like, maybe three hits in this fight. It would have been justifiable to keep it on. But that's not enough. It was way too late to get more ladies of the lake. Hmm. No Captain Crocs for me, thank you. see. Oh, 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 whoa. Okay, I, I definitely think I see now. Uh, the start of the brawl. Wait, hang on. Hide. Everyone's attack and health becoming the same. I mean, that's good later. It's not good yet, though. Magic sword would mean that uh, I would trigger Hercules, though. That's kind of cool. Plain copy of Echo Wood. Uh, it only works on good characters, and Echo Wood's not a good character. Ivory Owl just buffs the Echo Woods, though, so fine, let's do that. I'm going to get my level 2 and 3 characters back. And you just need to go on the board. Cool. 
I'm still trying. Uh, come on, give me another level 6 treasure. Come on, Herc, you can do it. Of course you can't. Ooh, they got a good sleigh right there. They're looking powerful. I mean, we will win. Look at the stats on our board, but they're looking powerful. Doubly is better than bossy, don't you think? No. Bossy is giving plus 12, plus 12 to the other doubly. Taking one doubly. Free roll. Can, can I play? Actually, I'll, I'll take the free roll. I'm hard digging for doubly. Yikes. Yikes and Hauser and Jesus wheezes. I'll take that. Sure. All right. No more time for Hercules. Go to hell. <laughs> and do not come back. <laughs> yeah, Lordy wants to get the upgrade here, certainly. Especially because the Echo Woods are going to get huge off of the two Lordies triggering at the start of the fight anyway. This? They should do it. It's also worth noting that Ivory Al is giving all of our characters plus two, plus two permanently at the, fight as well, at the start of the fight as well, which is also buffing the Echo Wood. It's a pretty big board right there. Thick. Thick boy season. I don't care if you've got one Echo Wood that's larger than me. Do you have two? No? All right. See you in hell. Oh, and that's all they will have wrote on that one. Give them all the dwarves. Basically as good as it could have gone, like save getting another Echo Wood on the board, 